my grandfather's parents lived in the same home with him, and his wife's parents lived in a, a couple of doors away. And it was into that society that I grew because in 19, uh, well, I guess it was 1925 or 26, uh, my father, having a difficulty in making a living uh, in the Depression, moved in. My mother, my father, and I moved into my grandfather's home. At that time, uh, my grandfather and grandmother, the great grandparents, and six of my brothers, my mother's brothers and sisters, all living younger ones living in that same house. There were 15 of us living in that one house, four generations living in one house with one bathroom. You learn tolerance and patience. Uh, on 107 Hallow Street in Winnipeg, at one time it wasn't a bad neighborhood. Uh, my grandfather had done well in the fruit and vegetable business and it was a, a nice middle-class neighborhood. And <clears throat> Uh, the house was a uh, two-story house, and where did everybody sleep? Well, the, 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 in one bedroom there were two beds, and two two girls slept in each bed. And that that was the girls, and the boys. There was a, a balcony that was made added on outside. In the winter time, was unheated. In Winnipeg, in below zero weather, we had it was had storm windows and so on. But we had about five comforters and <laughs> that you slept in. And, and there were two beds, and I slept in one bed with my Uncle Sam, who was three years older than me, and Clifford and Charlie in another bed, they were five and six years older than me. They grew up as my brothers more than my uncles. And uh, so there were people all over the house, and, and, uh, and as I say, with, with one bathroom, there's a lot of screaming about who was next. 